Hi everyone, my name is Shreya Boshak and I am a student in Ivy Professional School. And today I am going to discuss two interesting concepts in MySQL. One is group concat for creating a pivot table rather than using case when and discuss some concepts on triggers. So let us get started. So this is my original table that is region date delivered which has the following columns and which I have already imported using table data import wizard and providing the necessary file path here. So let us all learn what the data set is all about. The data set is of Flipkart's shipping details and it contains the details of items delivered at different dates with respect to region, hub name, transporter ID and delivery type. The data set describes the date of RSPA that is item delivery date at regional service providers then we have region zone, hub name, run sheet type, FHR ID, which is the transporter ID, the delivery type and delivered, that is the number of items delivered. So, we want our output to look like this. That is our objective is to find the number of items delivered across the five dates of RSPS, which has been transposed from row to column with respect to regions hub name, FHR ID and delivery type. We have a grand total column here which will give us the total number of items delivered with respect to a particular FHR ID across the five dates. Okay, so let us go back to the to my SQL. So this is our database which I have already described that is data of RSPS where we have the dates region zone, hub name, run sheet type, FHR ID, delivery type and the number of items delivered. So first here I will set my SQL safe updates to zero so that I am able to make some updates to my original table. Then I am converting my date of RSPS from string to date and then to a desired date format. Now first here we will see how we can create the same output table using case when and our analysis point here will be to check how we can achieve the same pivot table using case when and group concat basically group concat which makes our query less complex in case of large number of dates to be transposed to columns. So here I have created a view where I have regions, hub name, FHR ID and delivery type and I have the dates converted into columns using case when and I have this command which eliminates the null value from my pivot table. I have used group by FHR ID, order by hub name, FHR ID and delivered in descending order. So let us now see how our view looks like. So this is our view where we have the necessary columns as we wanted in our output similar to this one. So if we run this query we will get the grand total column also. Let us check the output once again. Yes we have the grand total column also. Now we will see how we can create the same output using group concat. So why do we want to use group concat here? Now instead of these 5 dates that we have here, there can be 20, 50, even 100 dates or the, there could be large number of rows which we want to transpose. In that case, using case when and manually writing down each date to be converted into column would be a tedious work. So group concat makes our work easier. We will use two variables here R1 and R2. So one variable will be used to store the query where we will do actual pivot operation and in the second variable we will concatenate the rest of the columns along with grand total as we wanted in our desired output. So let's see how we can do it using group concat step by step. 
first i am setting my r1 variable to 0 then here in step 2 we are going to do the actual pivot operation using the column data of rsps which we actually want to transpose to column now i am doing group concat of the sum if query to transpose the column data of rsps in single quotes using distinct concat so that only the unique values of data of rsps gets concatenated with the query and i am ordering them in ascending order of month i am using if null to remove the null values from my pivot table so let us see the output here if we run this we can get the output so see by running only a single query all the dates have been concatenated here now we will use second variable r2 where we will concatenate the rest of the columns along with my r1 variable that we wanted in our output that is region zone hub name FHRID and delivery type we want to display the items delivered across five dates of rsps the column which we have recently transposed and stored into r1 with respect to region hub name FHRID delivery type and also concatenate my grand total column in the single query see this is my grand total column where i have given the first date and the last date so that i can sum up and then concatenate the query so let us run this i'm selecting r2 to show the output of how the query looks like this is my final query concatenated final query and now i'm going to prepare and execute this statement to see my final output so let us check see we got the same output using group concat also so now we understood how group concat is less complex compared to case when when we have large number of rows to transpose and we got the similar output we achieved using case when that is the one we got in excel so now let us discuss about triggers so basically what triggers are the SQL statements that are automatically executed in response to certain events like insert, update or delete in a particular table. These triggers help in maintaining the integrity of the data by changing the data of the database in a systematic fashion. For example, whenever a user signs up on Gmail, the new user data is automatically entered into the website's database and the trigger automatically sends a welcome mail to the new user. So let us see the syntax of trigger. So this is our syntax of trigger that is delimiter, create trigger, trigger name before or after the event. Event is my insert update delete on table name. For each row follows precedes existing tail trigger name begin and end where I'll have the body of the trigger and the delimiter. So basically here we'll have two triggers one is before update and another is after insert and we'll see how they work. So this is my original table where I have auto ID name country and home city. This is a, another table which has the same structure as that of PBL which is used for data backup. Now we have the trigger before update that is delimiter and create trigger before TABL update which is my trigger name before update. Now why before update as the trigger will be activated before we update the table. On TBL that is my original table for each row begin and this is my statement. This query typically inserts the old record before update into TBL backup update to store as a backup of data. Now when we update any record of the TBL, this before update trigger will store a backup of the old record into the TBL backup date table. Let us check. I have already run this trigger. Now I am showing the TBL once again. So this is my TBL and suppose I want to update Thomas Morgan to James Morgan. Let us run this and let us check my original table to check if it has been updated or not. Yes, it has been updated and let us check if the data has been backed up in this table or not. Yes, the data has been updated. 
so now using the same table we have another trigger after insert with the same structure as that of the previous one which will insert the newly inserted record into tbl new this tbl new has same structure as that of tbl in order to store the new rows which we have inserted into the database so i have already run this trigger and now i want to insert this new record into my table so let us check our tbl once again we have this many records so let us insert this value and check our original table yes the data has been inserted and check this if the data has been inserted here or not yes the new record has been inserted into tbl new so now you have learned how the triggers actually work thanks all for watching Thank you.